Okay, everybody. Welcome to Trenny and C. I'm Trenny. I'm C. In case we haven't met you guys mm. before, you haven't met us, this is uh, our whiskey channel that you may have stumbled upon. Yeah, we do uh, all kinds of different whiskey videos. We do just regular reviews. We unbox new balls of whiskey when we try them for the first time. Yeah. We do all kinds of different whiskey research. We do product research. Uh, we do uh, bracket blowouts where we do challenges where we pair whiskeys against each other to see which one's the best. We do all a, kinds a of crazy lot, stuff. A lot of gimmicky stuff. It's great. But let's talk about tonight. Okay. Okay. What we're here to do tonight is give you recommendations on the best Irish whiskeys for beginners. I like it. Okay. Stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, so you've tuned in. It's Thursday night. Uh, you're still here. You're still here. Our videos are Thursday night at uh, 6. 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time mm -hmm. and Saturdays at 4 p.m. Pacific right. Standard Time. So let's uh, let's get started okay. today. Okay, so again, we're talking about Irish whiskey, yeah. uh, but we're talking about the best balls for beginners. Right. So when we talk about beginner whiskey, uh, we often are talking about price point. Yes. Um, when you're a beginner, you don't want to get into something exorbitantly priced that yeah. you maybe don't know whether you're going to like it or not. Exactly. Uh, often we're we're going to consider the alcohol by volume. We, this is true. You know, when you're a beginner, you don't necessarily want to get into that high powered stuff. No, it might scare you off or it might burn your taste buds or whatever. But in general, I think Irish whiskey, for the most part, they're bottled at 40%. But in general, as a whiskey style to get into, it's good for beginners of whiskey drinkers in general, I think, because it's a really mellow flavor all in all. There's nothing too scary about it. Okay. okay. I, that's my opinion. I think you're right. I think yeah. you're absolutely yeah. right. Um, just because we're talking to beginners here, some facts about Irish whiskey. Yes. It's got to be aged for three years in a wood cask. Typically, right. it's going to be oak, but uh, wood cask. Also, it's got to be between 40% alcohol and 94.8. Yeah. Haven't seen anything on the shelf for 94.8. You no, probably won't. Yeah, um, but probably typically, it's going to be 40%, nothing underneath that. Um, they can't really add much to an Irish whiskey when it's made. It's basically just the distillate off the still. Mm -hmm. You can add water. And there's a coloring called E150A, which is like a caramel coloring. That's the only thing yeah. that can basically be added is water and a little bit of coloring. The coloring is optional. Yes. So there, it's very similar to a lot of uh, uh, different styles of whiskeys out there in the sense of the rules. Oh. Like Scotland, three years. Can't add anything except I-150A. Same thing. There's yeah. one obvious thing about Irish whiskey. Yes. It's got to be made, distilled, and aged in Ireland. That makes that sense. That should be obvious. Yeah. Let's pull one out. Let's do it. Let's do our first one here. And this one... First recommendation. The reason we're giving this one a pull out and a recommendation is because, well, it's Jameson. It's one of the most widely recognizable uh, Irish whiskeys. You may not have even known it was an Irish whiskey until now. And this is actually really, 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 really good. This is the entry level Jameson. Just regular old... Jameson Irish whiskey, which you should know is the only Irish. <laughs> Sorry, heck of a Those are some uh, big glasses. We don't usually do that, but it looks good, doesn't it? For beginners, you might want to pour a little less, but that's fine. <laughs> um, Jameson is the only Irish whiskey that is one of the top 10 selling whiskeys mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. So, the reason we picked this one is because if you're trying it for the first time, it is very light. You can, it's you can mix it just as easily as you can sip it regularly. In you can you can start with a glass with some ice cubes and pour yourself a glass and sip on it for a little while. And I bet you'll find yourself really really liking it. It's super readily available. Yeah, you can pretty much find it anywhere in the world. Like you said, it's forty percent alcohol, so yep. it's very easy drinking. There's a uh, creaminess and just an ease to it. This is the entry level of Irish whiskey. 
It's the standard. It's the staple. It's, you gotta it, it's try it. It's a good benchmark. It's uh, you can base the rest of the whiskeys you try from Ireland off of this one. Absolutely. Right on the nose. We're not gonna review it right now or anything like that, but I mean, it is really rich and creamy oh, for something that is so highly mass produced. Right. Okay. Let's okay. go. Let's okay. get another one. So that's our first recommendation. It's Jameson. Mm. And it, yeah, it's great. Okay. Okay. Pull the next one up. Number two. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. Well, it's here now. Okay. Um, number two is Bushmills Black Bush. I should probably give you the zoom in. Black Bush is a variation of the entry level Bushmills. Yeah. Um, Bushmills is its own distillery. And the Black Bush, what makes it specific is that it's matured in sherry casks. Yes. Which gives it a nice color. Here you can see there's a more of a dark orangey kind of copper going on there. But it gives it that lovely sherry taste. Yeah. It, um, and so if you don't know what a sherried whiskey basically is, is like you were saying, it's you age your whiskey the same way you normally would in oak casks. And then a lot of time they'll get casks from Spain uh, and get ex sherry casks and fill that back up for maybe six months or eight months or even longer. Um, and, and then it. It, and finish it that way. And it gives it a really, really kind of fruity round uh, beautiful yes. flavor. Um, yeah, so what I wanted to say was Jameson, just like Bushmills, has different versions. So yes. this is a different version of the regular Bushmills. Jameson also has like the Crested yeah. and the Cask Mates and a, a huge variety. So in the world of Ir Irish whiskey, there's it feels like there's not a lot of variety in the sense that there's, you know, I think there's actually 16, 16. distilleries in in uh -huh. Ireland, but you around here we see maybe five or six on the shelves. Yeah. But there's so many v variations of the five or six. Yeah. So it, that's kind of nice. Yeah. So that's number two. Okay. Um, Bushmills Black Bush. All right. Sure. Should we have a sip? Absolutely. You guys should too. Have a sip. Yeah, you should be drinking along here. Um. Okay. Okay. These were. Basically entry level, um, entry level Irish whiskeys. Uh, we're moving up a notch. It's a pretty good notch. A great notch. Now it is still something that beginners should try, mm -hmm. but it moves up in the price notch a little bit. These are these are very low priced options. Um, you've pretty much got to double that price, I think, to get into Red Breast Twelve Year Old. And it is well worth the price. The double the yeah. price is also double the flavor and the experience that you get with this bottle. Redbreast makes a uh, variety of Irish whiskeys. They have a 15 year old and a 21 year old. And for each range that gets higher in the age point, it doubles, sometimes triples. And I don't necessarily know if that's worth it. <laughs> price so wise. Yeah. Price wise. So stepping back to the original 12 year old, mm -hmm. it's got an age statement on it which a lot of Irish whiskeys don't have. Right. Um, it is fantastic and really, really delicious stuff. Single pot still, and the reason that it is um, for beginners, I think, or it can be recommended for beginners, again, it's 40% alcohol. So yeah. there's nothing offensive that's gonna happen when you're trying this. This is just, uh, forget about offensive, this is just amazing It's so whiskey. good. Like, I remember, so I was used to this guy and then I tried this one and it was it was different, but still you could tell it was in the same kind of family. Mm -hmm. Where I find red breast, the flavor profiles are way more in depth and yeah. way more to discover. And yeah. there's lots of little oak notes in there and yeah. vanillas and honeys and it's really, really, really good. So <laughs> pleasant, so easy drinking. The first time we tried it, I remember being like shocked. Yeah. In fact, Shocked you can watch that video, go to the Red Breast unboxing, yeah. and it was both our first time trying it, we're just like, holy crap. We were blown away. Really good. Probably the most blown away we've been yeah. in an unboxing. Yeah, for sure. Um, so again, you can start anywhere. You don't have to start with this one specifically, or this one, or this one, but you can start yeah. anywhere, but... Um, There's no rules, but yeah. it's, a, it's a good evolution. Absolutely. Okay. okay, let's go to our final one. We We're have just one last four. one. We're just yeah. doing four today. Yeah. Um, Why is that? <laughs> you know, we've tasted probably 
what seems like hundreds of Irish whiskeys. Feels that way. We've narrowed it down to four. Yes, yeah. So, um, we did a beginner video that was eight. We did another beginner video for Scotch, I think, was was five. Yeah. Uh, it's our natural progression to get to four. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be doing a recommendation for something, or <laughs> yeah. it's just one next. But, yeah. Um, okay, so our final one is the Teeling Whiskey. Now, this one is a little bit different because it's the first one that we've shown you that is above 40%. So, yeah. this one is 46%. So, it's a little bit higher alcohol volume. That's right. And this one's interesting because a lot of good whiskeys that you got it when you go to a, a store and you're looking for a whiskey and you don't know what to spend your money on, there's a lot of telltale signs on a bottle of what you should be buying. Again, the 46%, so it's a higher percentage alcohol. Uh, this one actually says it's been non-chill filtered, mm -hmm. which is a, a nice thing. It has the bottling date on it, which is 2016, the fourth month, April. <laughs> um, and then the other thing that's unique about this one is it was aged in ex-rum casks. Yeah. So instead of sherry casks, which I believe this was too, um, this one's ex-rum. Yeah. Kind of cool. So, um... Yeah, and this one has a bit of a, a tangy zing to it. Um, it's slightly less... If we were to talk price range right now, I think it would be about like that. You've got the lowest and then gradually moving up in price range here. Price range, so, yeah. Teeling is um, still on that reasonable level. Yep. Uh, so it still hits the mark for The beginners. reason we put it this way, though, is because it's a higher percentage. And usually yeah. when you're doing a tasting... Um, you should go from the lower percentage to the higher percentage, exactly. unless, of course, you're doing uh, peated whiskey. And Ireland does make peated whiskeys. Uh, Connemara does a peated one, but uh, that's that's not on our list here. Not, to, not yeah. for beginners. So, um, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gives you enough information to make a semi-educated decision when you uh, roll into the liquor store. Mm -hmm. And um, leave us a comment and tell us what you think your best beginner Irish whiskeys are. Compare against our list. We're, we're happy to uh, have a conversation with you about it. So, Perfect. Anyway, uh, hopefully you're going to subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe. Um, we have hundreds of other videos. Uh, we do bourbon, scotch, Canadian, Taiwanese, Japanese, Irish. I mean, if you make whiskey, you know, we'll we're review gonna try it. it. We're gonna try we're it. We're gonna try it. it and review it. So. Unless it's absolute garbage, but actually, that's kind of fun too. We've tried that. Yeah, gives you a wider range of knowledge. Yeah, it really does. Anyway, hey, we're Tranny right. and C. Subscribe. Have a good evening. Tranny and C.